Hi everyone, you're welcome back again to Kenny's How to Cooking with the Salad Master. So for today, what we have today, we're going to make the vegetable jello fries. Okay, so we're making the vegetable jello fries today using the Salad Master bad boy and this is going to be a very quick recipe, okay. Now to begin, first of all I'm going to fry my chicken and remember when you want to fry without oil in Salad Master, always remember to do the water test. There it is. So once the water is bouncing, just like balls, just like that, then you're ready to start frying. Um, I also started by preheating it at 230. So when it's heated up, try the water test. When it's bouncing just like that, then you're ready to start frying, okay? So meanwhile, that's my excellent master bad boy. I've been using this equipment for the past um, nearly six years now. So I'm just gonna start by dunking in my chicken. Put the chicken there and lay properly with no oil. Look at that. Salad master is simply amazing. I'm just frying in there with no oil. Alright, so now it is here now. We're already frying the chicken. Look at that. Make sure all is coming out to fry it. So I'm just gonna put the lid on. I uh, remember the lid should be cracked, just like that. Put the lid on, a bit cracked and set the temperature still on 230 I'm just going to set the time now for 15 minutes so depending on the size of your chicken it could be between 10 to 15 minutes so I'm just going to make mine 15 minutes and remember to put the lid a bit back ok so the time is finished now and let's have a look I'm just going to see whoa look at that so I'm just going to flip it now to the other side even my blood must have start loud. remember you can get this free as well right so I've just flipped it now and I'm just gonna put the lid on um, a little bit cracked just like that then I'm gonna set the temperature to 230 just put it all the way to the end 230 if you don't want it very crunchy remember you can actually um, leave it on 200 but I like mine a bit step crunchy and a bit burnt so I put it for 230 and then set the time but not 15 minutes this time around I'm gonna set the time for just 10 minutes so 230 for 10 minutes for the second time okay so for the ingredients which we need um, we will definitely be needing uh, starting with uh, tomatoes we've got tomatoes here we've got red bell pepper we've got scotch bonnet we've got onions we've got um derica and here are my spices i've got the garlic ginger all purpose is mean curry thyme and shallot dry shallot okay um and here is my rice i've got three cups of rice in here and of course i've got my cubes as well okay so yeah. now the rest of the vegetable like the green peas the carrot and the cabbage is what I will be using to garnish the jello fries afterwards but now I'm just gonna blend this once the tomatoes red bell pepper that one onions including my spices because in salad master it makes life so so easy so I'm just gonna blend all of them just right there using my blender so I've just drunk in every single tin um, the ingredients apart from the rice vegetables which I'll be using to garnish afterwards that's the green peas the cabbage and the carrot um, I'm gonna put my cube as well so all the rest of them are here so I'm just gonna put the lid on and then I will so the chicken is all fried now the last minute is all gone so when I'm getting this all out and then put the blended tomato in here so here is the chicken all nicely fried, you can see that. If you don't want yours to be as crispy as what I've got here, you can actually um, put it on 200, but I like mine quite crispy. Okay, so now I'm just going to pour the tomato, or blended the tomato, I'm just going to pour it in the back door. Right, so let's have a look. Right, I've poured them, remember I did pour the tomato in there. And I just wanted it to just simmer for a little while then I'll pour the rice in so I'm just gonna pour the rice in there just pour your rice remember you don't need to have all the rice okay all you need to do just wash it with your warm water and then give it to them just wash it and then pour it there when your um, water that's the tomato sauce is a bit warm okay so that's it here I'm just gonna pour the lid on and set the rice, rice on remember rice. on rice too okay so here it is here just go off to the right hand side press one 
two and that's your one two so this is for your jello fries your fried rice your coconut rice your biryani rice is rice too for your white rice just press there just one time and your rice will be good too. what i'm just gonna do now it's um to cut my carrot and my cabbage so, okay i'm using this corn number five to cut my cabbage and then i'll use corn number maybe two or three for my carrot okay so look at that I just want to cut it to the shape and then I'll dunk it in my rice afterwards when the rice is all done I'll just dunk it in the rice look at that look at remember this machine you can get it absolutely free and remember your finger got just pop it in there if you've got a little piece and that's it so I've got my cabbage I like that shape then I'm just gonna change the corn I use corn number preferably three remember the numbers are all there at the bottom Cone number three for my carrots, okay. There we go, just like that. Can you see that? There we go, and that's it. Okay. All done. Look at that, amazing. So, if you want it smaller, you can also use a smaller one for you. Look at that. Okay, so if you wanted your cabbage a bit bigger, you can use cone three or any other corn as well. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just to add my green peas in this one because I just need to season them a little bit. So just add them in here and um, give them a little bit of time. So here's one of the cubes. I'm just going to uh, mix it up all together so that I could um, just pour in my, just mix and set them all up properly, the peas, the cabbage and the carrot. And then we'll dunk it in the right. So there it is here, all nicely mixed, the cabbage, the carrot and the green peas so I'll just wait for the rice to finish when the time goes off I'm gonna boil the rice okay so now we've got about three more minutes to go and I'm just going to open the rice stir it up and I'll put this and stir them all together wait for the last three minutes there we go <gasps> wow look at that okay so it's all nicely cooked now just a few more um three more minutes so i'm just gonna stir this all up and add the vegetables at this stage okay so that's why it's your vegetable jello fries to make it so healthy for you mind you you don't need to put this quite early otherwise you have your um, vegetables overcooked so this is all best to put it when you've got just about three minutes to go okay and with this your vegetable will be nicely okay so that's it all there now um the next thing i'm gonna do remember the chicken i'm just gonna dunk the chicken in there so that they all will finish up in the last three minutes okay so i've just put the chicken in there now i'm just gonna put the lid on and leave it for the last three minutes and then it should be all done. wellness through healthy food preparation prevents us from getting sick Salad Master Cookware is a healthy cookware. It is made of 316 titanium stainless steel, pure, clean, non-toxic cookware, and it has a limited lifetime warranty. look of our vegetable jello fries after the three minutes is gone um i'm just gonna give it a stir now so remember i just decided to put the chicken in here remember the chicken was fried with no oil we used the chicken uh, put the chicken in here because um there's no need for the microwave meanwhile look at that no burning you see there okay no burning at all just gonna show you all too We've put this with no oil, look at that. Okay, so I'm just gonna serve. So here it is now, I'm just gonna serve the vegetable jello fries, okay? Look at that, all nicely cooked. Okay, look at that. Voila! Okay, look at that, not burning at all. You can see there. Wow, look at that. Amazing. I'm just showing you all through, look at that, no burning. 
Okay, so we can prepare this quite healthy meal for your family and enjoy. There we go. So here's the chicken all nicely fried, Cripsy. Um, remember we'll fry this with no oil and I like my quite crispy so if you don't want yours to be quite crispy like what you're seeing in here you can actually put it on about 200 but I like mine to be quite crispy it's quite soft inside but crispy on the outside of that yeah so if you want to keep that hmm so nice right so here's the final look of uh, vegetable jello fries so simple and easy but very tasty and healthy Okay, so simple and easy to make, but very healthy and tasty. Um, so you can easily prepare this one very healthy for your family and tasty as well. Remember, we prepare this today with no oil. Um, look at that. Vegetable jello fries. Remember, we prepare this today with no oil, uh, including the chicken as well. No single arm, so you can enjoy your videos. Thank you for watching, and see you soon. Bye bye.